silence your cell phones now. The hell are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance. What's going on YouTube? It's Ed the place to be chill train Mr. Andy. Bad to give you guys another movie experience. It's been a while. I did not start off going to see movies at the beginning of the year. January, February, I was like, there's screen fire. I still have to check out Uncharted. There's some movies I may catch up on, but right now, I'm like, the first big blockbuster that hits uh, theaters this year is The Batman. Okay, so this is Matt Reeves version of the Batman. Obviously, so many things have been going on with this movie. We know it was delayed for a little bit, and then we know that Ben Affleck was going to do the Batman movie and uh, direct it as well, but then he, he dropped out the project, obviously. So now Matt Reeves is taking, um, and we got Robert Patterson. And I'm going to be honest with you, from Jump Street, I was not sold on Robert Patterson even as late as thursday night i was not sold on or friday night was i sold on Robert Pattinson at all but i'm here to tell you guys that look it's okay to be wrong this is a batman story that's placed in like if anybody's seen year one batman year one or red batman year one with like a little splash of a long halloween in there that's what this movie is but we're really on year two but still this is the, everything here jumps to me. The first thing I was, I was like, this is like year one. And then things are jumping right off me as, uh, like right off the combo. They took a lot of good time with this one. And now Batman is here in his second year and he's trying to figure out, uh, while there is an election going on in Gotham for the new mayor, there have been these strange killings and that's linking all to these kind of politicians. And it's done by the Riddler. So this is what the movie. It, it's a, a little summary of the movie, and we. So what we, I'm gonna do is give you guys the good. I'm gonna give you guys the bad, and I'm gonna give you guys the experience because this was a long movie. Okay. So for, start, first, I'll start off with the good. All right. So first off, I, we gotta get this thing out the way. We gotta talk about Robert Patterson. Okay. So I was not sold on Robert Patterson, and even going into the movie. I was not sold to Robert Patterson. And even in the beginning of the movie, I was not sold to Robert Patterson. So, I'm going to let y'all think on that for a minute. But I have to say this. What Matt Reeves done to what Batman is, is just magnificent. Because he pays attention to such, to such detail. And this is a Batman that we have never seen before in a movie. Theater, and, uh, in a movie and it's been explored the right way. Such that we get all the detective stuff okay like when it comes to like if anybody plays like you know uh batman arkham uh, arkham asylum arkham say all this stuff like that and he, it's like all, all the detective work and he's in there with the crime scenes and he's in there scouring everything we get we get the full detective batman in this one we get sherlock holmes the greatest detective the greatest detective ever in batman we get that and along with the the fear of batman is here okay because i enjoy how they explain what the bat signal truly means okay i'm not trying to get into spoilers but i mean for those who read comics you already know that but the fear that because there was times that i was just like i'm a little on edge because the way they that he weaponizes the shadows in in the movie and how they illustrate that is just, and that's at the beginning of the movie it's brilliant okay and i like that you know uh that they show that and you just don't know what shadow he's going to come walking out of but guarantee you if you pick that short straw and he walks out of that shadow it's a wrap it's a wrap for you because i'm like that that right there is intimidating and fear we had michael keaton you know kind of scare us a little bit they kind of introduced the fear a little bit i was never really i was never scared of christian bell's batman he, he was the ninja stealth batman okay but and of course like you know ben fleck was just you know like just the fucking Batman, but this one, this one right here is just like, yo, okay. In the beginning, he really weaponizes the shadows and puts the fear in criminals, especially when he can't be everywhere. I enjoyed that. And then also, the way he made this Batman is he is so like damaged 
like Batman has a lot of mental health issues that people don't have understand. So people, people get upset like they change Batman. Why is he doing so? Why is he doing that? I'm like, this man has severe mental health issues. Okay, so if they want to add something to the story, change the story around, it's reasonable because this man is not. You know, it, it's crazy. Okay, and they did that, and I, I like how he keeps a diary in it. So I was saying all that to say that first, that Robert Pattinson pulled that off. Okay, because at first I was looking for the billionaire Bruce Wayne. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm looking for the billionaire Bruce Wayne. I was sitting looking for you know his his relationship to Alfred. I was sitting looking at him being the Batman. Those three different kind of personalities he has to do. But when you're just in year two of doing this Batman stuff, and the only thing on your mind is just vengeance. It, it's not even about being a hero, like you know, like a Superman type saving people. It's about just destroying all these criminals. That it, it that weighs on you. Especially in that he's not out being Bruce Wayne. Like in this movie, like the first time he's been out in like I don't know how long because he keeps a diary because his days are running together. And I'm just like, that is so great. That is so great. I will get more into that sport because I could be on that all day. But then we go on to Zoe Kravitz. Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman, Selena Kyle, is really good. She uh, it, It's like right off the pages of year one. It's right off the pages of year one. Even from down to the look to the apartment and everything like that she is that's something that is, is really really good the, the fight that she has in there like she is able to take care of herself it's a batman movie but she's in there able to take care of herself and it it, it shows a lot in there also and then you know uh they was it the, like the chemistry between her and rob is cool it, it was all right it, it wasn't like oh man they just they just exploded off the screen type thing but no i i, I was like that right there was fine but the chemistry that really set off for me in this movie jeffrey white as Commissioner Gordon and Rob Pass as Batman. Those they felt like partners in this one. Gary Oldman and Christian Bale had a good relationship also, but this they felt like partners. They felt like look, screw the crooked police. All right, we gonna go in here and we gonna knock this thing out. And he trusted him, and you could tell that they trusted each other. And it was in the early days. Like once again, not saying that Gary Oldman and Christian Bale didn't trust each other in that movie because. They were a good pair too, and they worked together as well. But this one right here, I I just felt it more. And they and like they went there, they they in crime scenes together. They sitting there doing all the detective work, and they're trying to figure out this case together. That's what they're doing. I love everything about that. So Jeffrey White played a good Commissioner Gordon in this one, and uh, well, he's not Commissioner yet, but I know that he's gonna begin his spinoff series on HBO Max. Along with Colin Farrell as Cobblepot Oswald, like the Penguin, Oswald. Like, I was like, what? I didn't know that was Colin Farrell and all that. And I was like, wow, he did a spend up job. Like, I, that was like the biggest shocker to me, uh, having the Penguin in this thing. Because uh, I was like, I wasn't expecting him. And then, because I, I only watched the teaser and a couple shows you guys see I can react to. But other than that, I didn't react to any more of those things because I, I didn't want to get spoiled by anyone because they were to me they was releasing, releasing too much stuff. I right, just let the movie play out. Let's let the movie play out. But however, also if I did not see also that uh I see the trailer, there's way more in the movie. Way more. And he did a good job because the penguins will be getting his own spin-off series on HBO Max as well. So I'm checking both of those things out. Then it comes down to the Riddler. Paul Dano plays the Riddler. And this Riddler is not like Jim Carrey's Riddler, okay? This this Riddler is sadistic, is crazy, and the scariest thing about it is this Riddler can exist in the real world. Like, that's a lot of thing about in, in this bad movie is that these things are grounded. Yes, we can say Christopher Nolan's trilogy was more grounded, but there's still that Batman fantasy in it. This one, I'm just like, God, did that happen? Because, like, you know, this is like a... It's really grounded based in reality, and... The, the, the Riddler, I'm telling you, I love the Riddler and I hate him at the same time. I love him because he's he, he, he's part of great uh, the Rogues Gallery for Batman, and but I am terrible, and I will say this again, I am terrible at solving riddles. Okay, so every time I see a Riddler comic or I I, uh, I see uh, Riddler on TV show or movies and he does the riddle, I'm trying to solve the riddle. I don't matter how maybe it's easy it is or how bad shit is saying hard it is, I'm sitting there like. And people can just get them. I am terrible at riddles, so I will be a terrible Batman. I'll be dead. Okay, so because I, I can't solve that. But his end game in the movie, I thought it was good. That it, it, it went and did some of those old Batman, you know, uh, storyline stuff like that. I'm not going to give spoilers away. But 
I thought it worked. And I really enjoyed it. I was sitting there like, oh my God, this thing connects, 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 connects. It's like if I took Jigsaw from Saul and Kevin Spacey from Seven and kind of like mashed them together, that's the Riddler. That's that's what it is, okay? And it's like it's like more, I would say, 70, 70 Kevin, 70% 70 Kevin Spacey and 30% Jigsaw and put that together like, bam, that's what you got you the Riddler. And I thought that was like really, really amazing. Gotham City is like, remember how in Black Panther they made Wakanda a whole character? Gotham City is a whole character. It's the pits. Who wants to be part of Gotham City? Okay, nobody. And the way it's like, it's always raining. Like, the sun don't even want to come to Gotham City. It's like, I'll shine all over else New York, but not Gotham. Okay, that they make Gotham feel just like crummy. I'm like, why would you want to work there? Or just live there, okay? And that's, it's like, to the point where it's like, when Sunny says, it's ain't gonna change. You know, you sit there thinking like, damn, can the Batman change this? You know, I, I don't know. So, that, that, that's mostly uh, what the good, there's plenty more to, to get into, but I don't wanna, you know, this is just a non-spoiler review. So let's get into some of the bad. All right, when it comes to the bad, it's like this. I think the movie is too long. It, it It's three hours. It really is three hours, okay? And so I'm like, it, I I never found myself checking my watch when I f uh or checking my phone. I never said uh like God, why is it taking so long? I said that before I went to the movie. I'm so invested the three hours flew by because the Riddler keeps you on your toes. However, there are times in this movie where you felt as though like, damn, I thought that was going to end. Damn, I thought it was going to end. This is going to end right now, and it did. And I'm sitting there thinking like, damn, there's still more to go, but. It ain't like they just do it on it. It's just for the sake of throwing it on there. If you go by all the riddles and all the clues he's leaving, it's supposed to lead up to this. And I'm like, that's fucking genius. <laughs> that, that that is really genius, to be honest with you. So the three hours uh, flew by for me, and I actually can't wait to go see it again. But it but is it, it could if they trimmed it down a half an hour, still wouldn't mind because you still could the way they did. You could still make it a two and a half hour movie. This is more on the nitpicking side, but. Like when it comes to Robert Pattinson, like I said, I enjoy his uh, what he brought to the character of Batman. Obviously, when he's in a suit, he's only a year or two and stuff like that. But he don't have that jaw. It's like you know he's still kind of skinny, Batman. And I'm just like, I I have to see him grow in the role. Like I enjoy him for this movie, but is this the way the DCEU is going to be going? Okay, because I think it should be honestly. You know what I'm saying? Because as of right now, I know Warner Bros. is not going to give us a side of verse. It's not, but I'm saying, but it's great to see what happened in that story. But right now, this is the direction that they're going in. And I'm like, dude, can I see him as my Batman going into the future? Kind of thing like that. Uh, you, you you may hear people talk about some, you may, may say like, they enjoyed the first two acts, but the third act kind of like, uh. The, the third act, especially towards the end, does turn into like a big action scene type thing for the sake of being a superhero movie, obviously. I didn't mind the third act. It, you know, me personally, I did not mind the third act. I, I thought the whole movie kind of fleshed, uh, you know, well together type thing. And, and Batman was actually challenged. And I like that. <laughs> so, and Batman was actually wrong at a point. And I like that. And him being wrong kind of cost him a little bit. And I like that. Like, so all those kind of things I really enjoyed. So, without doing too much nitpicking, now let's get into the experience. <music> All right, so when we get an experience, like I said, me and my homie went to go check it out. Uh, I did not go with my wife this time, and we uh, went to go check it out. And uh, it, it was actually a, a pretty packed theater, but I'm saying, but uh, we got cl close to the front, and it was cool. Everybody was cool with it, and it was a good time. Like I said, the, the time flew by so many trails. It's about a half hour trails. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. So if you run late, don't worry about it. If you don't, if you don't want to see the trailers, uh, there is. How, how I say it? there is a little something at the end for the post credits, but it's really it's really honestly if you're not really in the comic book, so you really don't have to stay for it. You can find out what it is on the internet. I'm saying because it, it, it's it's really it, me personally. If I I wouldn't have stayed for it. Okay, I love comic books and stuff like that. I, I wouldn't have stayed for it. You know what I'm saying it's just you know I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but. It's, there's really no post credit scene. It's more so like there's a scene at the end that teases what the next person coming into Gotham is going to be. And, and that's before the movie even ends. So 
uh that's what it is but when it comes to you know the batman was great it 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 surprised me it all my expectations were low Rob Paris, I, I went in there and was like, I'm going to hate this guy. It's going to probably be the worst Batman movie. And I'm telling you right now, it's one of the best ones. And when it comes to the Batman, I'm giving it a complete dergasm. So, post any comments down below. How did you guys enjoy the Batman? Make sure you guys... Uh, check out the podcast i may do a spoiler review depending on how many of my team has saw the batman hit the like button if you guys enjoyed my reaction uh, enjoy my review i should say and uh subscribe for, for more movie experiences on the weekends right here on nc studios once again it's nc in place to be channel 20 mr a and d and i'll see you at the movies